Hello, welcome to the first sales tip for 2015. It's Tim Royds here, Director of High Clear, a company that provides both sales consultancy and sales training services in the UK and internationally, but we focus purely on the B2B sector. Uh, article for you, all about field-based coaching, the do's and the don'ts to ensure that the day is prepared properly, implemented properly, followed up properly, so your day with the field-based coach, who most often is going to be your manager, is indeed a development-focused day and not a day when you have a day off and the sales manager does all the selling for you. Now, this month's tip is a few ideas about what to do in reception verbally and non-verbally and indeed a couple of things to do when you're actually in the office of the person who you're meeting verbally and non-verbally to make sure that you retain control of the meeting and you send a clear signal that the, the, the person who's working with you for the day, as I say, normally the manager, is a guest. The meeting's between you and the customer. Let's talk about uh, in reception first of all. You'll probably know uh, where the customer is going to come from to greet you. That being the case, make sure that the customer actually sees and physically comes across the salesperson before the accompanying coach. Now that sends a real clear signal straight away about who the meeting is between. The salesperson, the customer, the third person is the guest. You can use words to reinforce this. So think about saying things like, uh, good to see you again. Would it be okay if John joined us today? Very clear signal about who the meeting's between and who's the guest there. And again, if this has been thought about in advance, the manager can also reaffirm that that's the situation by saying, great, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for allowing me to join you today. Very simple thing, but it does make a difference. As you move towards the customers, uh, office or meeting room, wherever you're going to engage with them, make sure it's the salesperson and the customer that goes first. The salesperson goes through the door of the office or meeting room first. And in terms of seating positions, the meetings between the salesperson and the customer, so clearly those are the people who should be facing each other with the coach sat slightly to one side, slightly back from the middle. Again, non-verbally, it's a very clear signal about who the meeting is between and who is the guest. And it helps you to ensure that that's where the conversation takes place and the coach doesn't get involved. Now, realistically, there might be times when, you know, you, you, you want the coach, uh, as I say, normally a manager, to become engaged with the customer and to get involved with the conversation. So the question becomes, how can you signal that um, without actually asking them directly? Well, the, the answer is you agree on some sort of secret signal in advance. One that was passed on to me um, as an idea a few years ago by a sales manager was, and um, what he's agreed with his team is, if ever they want him to get involved, what they simply do is, as they're writing notes, they simply put the pen down on the uh, notebook or paper that they're making notes on, and that's a clear signal to say, okay, now please, I'd like you to comment, or I'd like you to get involved, or I'd like you to help and support here. And likewise, as they pick it up again, that's the signal that they want to uh, retake control of the conversation. So there we go. A few ideas to make sure that you engage with the customer, you retain that engagement with the customer, you send out verbally and non-verbally the very clear signals about who the meeting is between, and also an idea in terms of um, getting the involvement of the coach who's working with you. I hope those help. Uh, that article, by the way, uh, this one here, Two's Company, that was um, in the journal Winning Edge, the journal of the Institute of Sales and Marketing Management here in the UK. If anybody would like a, a copy of that, please just ping me an email at uh, hello at highclearsales.com. That's hello at highclearsales.com. And um, I'm quite, quite happy to uh, email a copy of that to you by return. Hope those ideas work for you. Look forward to seeing you next month.